Monica paid $7.47 for stamps. The number of 49 cent stamps was three more than twice the number of two cent stamps. How many 49 cent stamps and how many two cent stamps did Monica buy? We will first write expressions for the number of 49 cent stamps and the number of two cent stamps. And because we're told the number of 49 cent stamps was three more than twice the number of two cent stamps, let's let the variable s represent the number of two cent stamps. And again, because the number of 49 cent stamps is three more than twice the number of two cent stamps, we can express the number of 49 cent stamps as three more than twice s. Well, twice s is two times s, so to get three more than twice s, we use the expression two s plus three. And because each two cent stamp is worth two cents, and each 49 cent stamp is worth 49 cents, we can now write an equation and solve for s because we know the total amount paid for the stamps was $7.47. And let's use the units of cents in our equation rather than dollars, which means we will express $7.47 as 747 cents. So the value of the 49 cent stamps is going to be 49 cents times the number of 49 cent stamps, which is the quantity 2s plus 3. So this expression represents the value of the 49 cent stamps, plus we now need the value of the two cent stamps, which is going to be two cents times s, or just two s, and we know the cost or value of these stamps is 747 cents. And now if we solve this equation for s, we can determine the number of two cent stamps and the number of 49 cent stamps. The first step is to simplify the left side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. To clear the parentheses, we distribute 49. 49 times 2s is equal to 98s, plus 49 times 3 equals 147. And we saw plus 2s equals 747. We now combine the like terms on the left side of the equation. 98s plus 2s equals 100s. The left side simplifies to 100s plus 147 equals 747. This equation is equivalent to the original equation, but now the left side of the equation is simplified. The next step is to isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting, which means we want to isolate 100s by undoing plus 147 which means the next step is subtract 147 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, 147 minus 147 is zero, which is the reason why we subtracted 147 on both sides. Simplifying, we have 100s equals 747 minus 147 is 600. The last step is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable because 100s means 100 times s, to undo the multiplication, we divide both sides by 100. Simplifying, 100 divided by 100 is equal to one, one times s is s. s equals 600 divided by 100, which is six. Going back up to our expressions for the number of stamps, we now know the number of two cent stamps is six because s equals six and the number of 49 cent stamps is equal to 2s plus six, but because we know s is six, the number of 49 cent stamps is two times six plus three, which is equal to 12 plus three, which equals 15. So now we know Monica bought 15 49 cent stamps and six two cent stamps. Before we go, let's check our answer by making sure that 15 49 cent stamps and six two cent stamps does give a value or a cost of seven dollars and 47 cents or 747 cents. So 49 cents times 15 plus two cents times six 
must equal 747 cents. 49 times 15 equals 735, plus 2 times 6 is 12. And 735 plus 12 is 747. 747 equals 747 is true, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.